All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today we finally have some new content on Global. Man, that feels really good to say. It's been such a long time since I've been able to say that. And of course, it's a new campaign. We got a new banner coming, a new unit that I know a lot of you guys are super, super hyped for, the AGL LR Spirit Bomb Absorbed Super Saiyan Goku. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out everything that Bandai has in store for us. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what's going on. Here we go. So we got the new celebration. It's called Spring in Full Bloom Spring Training Campaign. Got a nice image of Kid Goku and Kid Chi Chi here. It says, various events are here. New Super Saiyan Goku who can be awakened into an LR will show up in the Impassioned Warriors Assemble Rising Dragon Carnival, which of course is a double rates banner. And it says, recruit Super Saiyan Goku who has absorbed the energy of the Spirit Bomb. Okay, in addition to buying luxurious rewards, sorry, two luxurious rewards, a new Extreme Z battle, new Extreme Z battle will also be available during the event period. Come join the event and enjoy Dokkan Battle. Okay, well, you know what? At this point, anything new would be great. But uh, of course, you guys know the AGL Gumku or Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is a very, very hype unit to me. So I'm definitely excited for these summons. I can't freaking wait. I'm probably going to be spending a lot more than I should on his banner. But I've been so deprived of just content these days that... um. I think I'm okay with it. Anyways, let's move on to the actual events. First things first, we have the login bonus, pretty standard stuff. Next up, we have special missions, as well as some Dragonstone sales, which seem to be okay. I mean, it's not the worst sales I've seen. We do have a 77 stone pack for a super discount, one time only, of course. That's, that's solid. That's decent. And of course, the 91 stone packs three times, and also a... 32 stone pack, 32 stone pack, one time only. So aside from the 77 stone pack right there, everything else is pretty standard, pretty normal. I wish we had more sales, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Okay, next up, we have the Rising Dragon Carnival. We have the Goku right here. And as expected, we do get an Elder Kai with each multi, which is what happened um, with the Christmas banner on JP. So there's no surprise there either. Double race banners, as I've said, are always kind of traps because even though it's double rates for SSRs, your chances of pulling an LR still not the greatest and even if you pull like six SSRs in a multi, if it's not an LR for any of the SSRs, then you're going to feel pretty ripped off, you're going to feel pretty empty, pretty sad, so keep that in mind as you do your summons and I would still recommend people to do maybe like three multis at most and then call it a day because rem remember that the five year LRs are literally right around the corner okay just put an image put a poster of lr vegeto blue lr blue gogeta in your bedroom just to remind you what you're saving for all right next up we have the mysterious summon ritual summon the elder kai banner it seems like we're getting these for every single celebration at this point we also have the extreme z area for oh hold on Okay, so Extreme Z area, um, isn't, wasn't this already available on Global, so this is just coming back, right? Or is this for something else? I'm a little bit confused right now, because I'm pretty sure these three already got their Extreme Z Awakenings. So are there other units getting Extreme Z Awakenings through this event? New stages of Extreme Z area hero extermination plan. Um, interesting. Okay, so I don't remember exactly, is it the tech trunks, like the Super Saiyan trunks? And also the Super Saiyan Vegeta. No, it would be the Int Trunks, right? Okay, I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to uh, do some research on that, get back to you guys. But we're getting new stages for the Extreme Z area here. And uh, I would assume some Extreme Z Awakenings for some non Dokkan Fest, like older units. And uh, we also have the return of the Little Rangers event. This unit is actually not bad. They're okay. I mean, they get weaker over... Um, the course of the fight, but when they first start out, they're actually pretty decently strong. We also have uh, this one coming back, this uh, Raditz event coming back. We have the the uh, Videl Learns to Fly event coming back as well. And we also have the Hercules Heart Pounding Gifts event coming back as well, which means that we're going to get 
or me at least, one stone a day for an extra login bonus. Some of you guys might get seven though, if you get really lucky. It's basically one stone for people like me, three stones for people that are kind of lucky, and then seven stones for people like Nano, who just have all the luck, right? So there's that, very nice. And the Extreme Z Awakening is as suspected for the tech merged Zamasu, or Fusion Zamasu, and uh, that's pretty hype. That's pretty hype. I mean, I love this unit, and I mean, I always want to look for improvements, or I'm always open to an improvement to my Realm of Gods team, or Future Saga team, so that's pretty awesome, actually. Um, I don't think he's like... Actually, I can't say for sure, because I haven't used this Extreme Z Awakening, but based on what I've seen, he hits really hard, but his defense is still kind of lacking. Um, but he's a good Extreme Z Awakening, nonetheless. I'll give you guys a quick breakdown in an upcoming video, and I'll talk about the Extreme Z Battle event as well in that video. Okay, so looks like the next EZA on Global is the Tech Zamasu. We have the Worthy Rivals category banner, which uh, as you guys know, I am not a fan of uh, these category banners. So I would say completely stay away, just throw that in the garbage. But uh, if you guys must summon, then hopefully you pull some LRs because that is the only way your stones will be worth it if you waste them on this banner. Okay, so we have the Extreme Z Challenge Pack from the Pilaf's Trove, and also the AGL Character Exclusive Banner is coming back, which means we're getting the Extreme Z Awakening, sorry, not Extreme Z Awakening, the Token Awakenings for the AGL Pan, as well as the AGL Metal Rildo, and uh, both of these Extreme Z, so why do I keep saying that? Both of these Awakenings are really, really uh, strong, just like the Int Gohan and the Int Scouter Vegeta from the Int Type Banner. And of course, if you guys want some of these AGL, some of the AGL LRs in the game that you don't currently have, this is a pretty good banner to chase them because the rates for them is it's pretty high. It's pretty good, but still, don't spend too many stones if you really must chase for like Majin Vegeta or Mighty Mask or uh, what's the other one? There's one more, right? Why can't I think of it? What's the other AGL LR, the non-Dokkan Fest one? There must be one. It can't be just those two. Okay, my brain is not working, but you guys probably know, so... <laughs> um, if, you're, if you're chasing for those LRs, good luck. Oh, baby! LR baby. There you go. Okay, so uh, that's the AGL banner right there. Token Awakenings for these two. There's the actual Extreme Z battle event. Of course, the Dokkan event for the Zamasu will be available every single day during the event. And uh, that's coming, by the way, on the 28th. So in about nine days from now. End of the month. And then we have the return of a few story events, the Black Star DB Saga, Otherworld event, as well as the Counter Vegeta. And that is it, guys. Those are the events. Let's see what this special mission, what these special missions look like. So, in total, 29 Dragon Stones for the missions. I mean, it's not the worst I've seen, not the best I've seen. Um, so, 29 stones, including the daily. So, really, for the limited missions, you're only getting something like... I don't know, five stones, something like that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six stones. Okay, so six stones from limited missions, and then one stone per day. You add all those up, that's 29 stones. And then for the login bonus, one stone a day every single day. Yeah, um, no surprises there either. So 14 mouse, oh, wait, uh, mouse items, interesting. Are these mouse items new, actually? Or have we had these? I don't remember ever using these mouse items if we had them, but... Uh, okay, so we get 14 mouse support. Oh, it's a new support item. Okay, so new mouse support item. What does it do though? Um, well, what do they say here? What does the mouse support item do? Actually, uh, can I get the login bonus right now? Oh, I can't because the actual like technically the reset for me hasn't happened yet. So um, new support item. I'm sure you guys are not that excited for it, but that's a thing as well. And uh, we get a couple Kai's, get a couple of Hercule statues, you know, orbs, all that good stuff. In total, we're looking at 18 Dragon Stones for the login bonus, 29 for the special missions, and then, uh, you know, some more stones for Extreme Z area, and also, of course, the Extreme Z battle here for the Tech Zamasu. So, uh, overall, seems to be an okay event. It seems to be kind of a filler event, honestly. I don't think it's going to be lasting too long. But how long is it going to last? 18 days, right? Because that's the total amount of stones we're getting for the login bonus. So it should be 18 days. So it's going to be between now until... Oh, okay. So it's going to be until uh, May 6th. May 6th, which should lead us straight into 
the Goku Day or Goku Gohan and Goten Day celebration for this year as well. So um, definitely expect something big for that. Last year we got the LR Go Bros. So this year I'm kind of expecting another global first unit. It could be something that JP got before. Um, some people are saying it's just going to be the Dual Dokkan Fest between Goku and Vegeta, which I guess could be the case. I don't really see it happening though. I do see something new coming for this year's Goku Day. Um, possibly another Dokkan Now episode to you know, introduce this uh, new unit on Global. Who knows? Can't say for sure, but that's what I'm feeling. All right, so that is today's video, guys. This is the new celebration, the new you know, uh, content on Global. Super, super excited for there just to be finally content. And uh, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.